Hello again, everyone. Um, as some of you may know, I went on a, a craft retreat this last weekend, and it was with a company called Indigo Blue. And a lot of the things that they do are very much into mixed media. Well, I had a really good time, very far away from my comfort zone. But I've been thinking since how I can adapt things that I learned, things that I saw to my style of card making, which is clean and simple. So today I thought I would show you how I turned these two die cuts, their Sizzix leaves, into these, which I think you'll see are really rather interesting. Aren't they lovely? Oh, I'm, I really got carried away. I haven't finished making up the card. All I'm going to do in this video is show you how I did the leaves. I'll show you how I did the background and stuff in, in another time. So I'm just going to put this out of the way because I am going to get a trifle messy. So I'm going to start with these two Sizzix die cuts. Those are the dies. But one thing I discovered was I've got another set of leaves, which I made a stencil from the other day, which is here. Made a stencil of that one. These leaves can either be an aperture or a completely cut out leaf because they have an additional outline, which was that one. So what my idea was, I discovered that this leaf for this one is quite a close match. And I thought if I can put that one over the top of this one and then add some kind of texture through the stencil, we might get rather an interesting result. So, in fact, I managed to use the same stencil for both leaves, although this one is a different size, everything else, but it kind of worked. So I'll just show you what I did. I put the, I've got a bit of um, spray, you know, stick and spray stuff on the back of there. And what I want to do is to put this over the hole. Let me just see if I can get it. If I look up to the light, I can see you can see I've got gloves on. I'm going to get a bit messy today. So I can see the outline of the, dark, the black leaf behind the stencil. So put that down. Now, um, <laughs> it's all sticking to the mat. Can you see where I am? Yes. Okay. Um, let me see if I can come in just a little bit. I do this and then I forget to go out again. Let's try that. What I used for the texture was some of this stuff. Artist quality texture paste, true grit. This is indigo blue, but I've got some in a small pot there that I'm using, so I'm going to carry on and use this. So here's my true grit texture paste, and I'm going to get a little bit out, press that down in the middle where it's um, got the gloopy stuff on the back and you can hear the grit as I scrape. Right, let me lift this up. Take this off and there's some texture. Can you see some veining as well? So I'm going to do it on this one as well. I've still got some bits in there from the die cut I didn't cut out. Wouldn't matter if I got rid of those or not, I don't think, really. Anyway, going to put this over the top of this one. Doesn't exactly fit, but it doesn't really matter. Have a look against the light to see whereabouts it's going. That should do. Press it down and add a bit of texture paste. Okay. And take it off. Okay, 
there's my two bits. I'm just going to wipe these because uh, it does kind of dry up. You either need to have a, a bowl of water or something handy to wipe up, um, to, to put your stencil into. Uh, otherwise, you don't want to ruin your stencil. However, I cut this one myself, so I could always cut another, couldn't I? Easy peasy. I'll put that in the water in a moment. Okay, now the next thing I want to do, let's put that down there, I've got an ice cream tub here with some water, I'll put it in there. The next thing I want to do is just to dry this off so that um, the next process can take place. Right, I'll pick it up with my tweezers. Now, when you um, dry texture paste, with a heat gun, often you get a bubbling effect and the bubbling on the last ones that I did, I thought was absolutely fabulous. So I'm hoping it's going to do it again. So I'm just going to dry this off. You see, the higher heat caused the bubble. Just have a look at the two of them for, for, for comparison. See how flat and how this one's come up with the heat. So I really rather like that. Right, I don't know if it's dried completely, but I think it's probably enough for my purposes. Right, the next thing I'm going to do is to just dab over a bit of black gesso. Now, I'm just going to turn that upside down because all I'm going to do is use it from the lid. I hope it... Uh... Yes, I have got some in there. Now, these are just pieces of... Um, cheap 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 dishwashing sponges so just chop them up and uh, bob's your uncle right just covering it with black gesso just look even just black it looks lovely doesn't it oh my word love it absolutely Love it. Bit there. Lovely. Right, I'm going to put this lid back on the pot. And I'm going to dry these off as well. I'm sorry about all this uh, whizzing. It's probably still a bit wet. You can still see a bit of white poking through, but I'm not going to worry. The next thing I'm going to do is to use two shades of metallic acrylic paint from Indigo Blue. This one is called Goldfinger, and this one is called Merlin. Look at that. Deep, deep, deep kind of mallard's head if you know what i mean fabulous right here's my little bits there's even a smaller bit now of um sponge 
dishwashing sponge because I can I can just use these and throw them away really. But I'm just going to dab. A little dab will do it. It used to be a, an advert once upon a time. There we are. And the gold. Gold finger. I could put some out put some out onto the desk, but I'm a bit mean. I'll just take it from the as long as I've got a clean sponge, I'll take it from the pot. Look at that. Oh my lord. Just look. You see why I've got gloves on today. I don't I don't normally like wearing gloves, but I don't like getting this messy. So gloves it is. The black just just look now look at that texture isn't that something else you could just dab away as much as you like really but a little bit of a little bit of metallic acrylic paint let me just wipe this and uh, what a perfect embellishment for a card absolutely fabulous so I will list the products that I used underneath, but you know, you just get such such good effects and such it's such fun. But who would have thought putting two different dyes together, and 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 coming up with something like that? I was I was tickled pink. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.